So here's how all this works. We're just going to take one teaspoon of our green nine. Remember, both of these are super concentrated powers, so you don't need a whole lot. We're just going to do a level, I'm sorry, tablespoon. Did I say teaspoon? One full tablespoon per tree. We're going to use two teaspoons of our microbes. Tell me there's about four billion bacteria in a teaspoon. I don't know whose job it is to count all that. But that ought to be enough to get a colony started in your soil. Dump those in together. Mix with water. Flowers, shrubs, trees. It's Evergreens, deciduous trees, doesn't really matter. All living plants will benefit from both the micronutrients and the bacteria that we add to the soil. One thing you might want to consider, you know, we love to put down that nylon weed fabric and cover our gardens in rock mulch. That's great for maintenance, but it's horrible for the plants and the soil heats up too much heat in the root zone you can fry an egg on that rock and it's probably not real good for the trees so when we plant we always pull away the rock mulch if we're planting in a rock bed we don't use weed fabric directly over our root ball and we apply a bark mulch shredded cedar and that helps the soil breathe and it really helps out with your microbial populations in, in the soil and it's just this simple we're going to do our root drench around the base of the tree. The idea is that water is going to carry that bacteria and that nutrition deep down into the soil where it can be uptake, uptaken by the roots of the tree, feed the leaves, help the tree metabolize. Tricolor Beach.